Right then, Manchester United um, definitely need to be looking at bringing in uh, another striker. Unless we just think Scott McTominay is going to be our backup striker, which, okay, has not been horrendously bad at that role, but realistically we should be looking at someone who's an actual striker to fulfil that role. Now, I have put together a, a three-man shortlist of potential backup strikers, and I'm going to talk through them, and then you lot are going to go, yeah, I like that, or no, what you're on about. Okay, that the deal? Let's get into him. So, first one then, I think is uh, Benjamin Sesko. We've looked at him before, we looked at him in the past. RB Leipzig, um, Slovenian nationality, striker, big old boy, six foot four, only 20 years of age, proper diamond in the rough, a real powerful runner, great mobility and dribbling for someone who's six four, which is an absolute unit, by the way. And when you watch him, it's easy to forget that he is such a physically imposing person because he can twist, he can turn, he's got great ball manipulation and he's being sort of um, compared to a sort of young Zlatan uh, and in some ways an Erling Haaland and you can definitely see traits of both of those in him. Uh, finishing wise, he is pretty good on both feet um, in 1v1 situations, volleys, half volleys, distance, uh, as well as nice little passes into the, the net past the keeper. He has got a bit of a range on him. And I think the one way in which he differs from Haaland is that he's actually capable of going on either side. Um, he's almost as equally effective off his left foot. Um, his hold up play is really good. Um, and it's not just size and strength. He's He's got real guile and elegance to his game as well. He looks almost like a complete footballer with the on-ball ability. And he's got some good smartness to his game as well. He understands when he needs to make runs, when to hold his position, uh, when to stay inside the defender's line and when to start running. Uh, and he has got some ridiculous skill, which showcases awareness, confidence, a bit of audacity and cockiness, um, and probably a bit of a belief in himself too. And I don't think he plays erratic. I think he plays quite composed. Um, I think he's got pretty good decision making and I'd argue that's one of the main things that separates uh, good from great. Great players do seem to make uh, right decisions more than not. I, I think the, the age profile of him, yes, it's very close to Hoyland, um, but I think you could get a, a player out of him and uh, I don't think he would cost the earth and I think he'd be a real good option if you ever lost Hoyland for a uh, an extended period of time or you wanted to just throw another one in there just to mix it up and if you was chasing a game i think you'd be a great option for that right then folks our mates at surfshark are here to make sure that you are cruising the internet like a pro surfshark's your vip pass to the internet it encrypts all your data so no one can mess with it and get this they even make it look like you're kicking it back in a different part of the world here's why you're going to love surfshark it unlocks blocked websites and dodge those pesky geo restrictions that you can get on certain places as well. So if you fancy a bit of BBC, iPlayer or Netflix from across the pond, Surfshark's got you. And there's a whopping 3,200 servers in 100 different countries as well. So you can catch sports streams from anywhere on the globe. And when you're streaming, clean web kicks in to keep those annoying ads and malware at bay, giving you a worry-free viewing experience. One account for all your gadgets, whether it's a phone, Phone, a laptop, you name it, it is covered. Stay safe and secure with Surfshark. Use Housen at the checkout. That's H O W S O N for an extra three months free at Surfshark.deals forward slash Housen. The link is down below or scan this QR code. And remember, they've got your back with a 30 day money back guarantee. Go give it a whirl. Some of that I think is a little bit cheaper. Um, would be uh, Joshua Zerke uh, from Bologna. He is Dutch, so you already know he's ticking Tan Hag's boxes for him. Um, 21 years of age, again six foot four. Um, and I don't know if I've done that on purpose or not. But uh, Zerke has been on fire this season for Bologna. 11 goals and six assists in 30 games, which doesn't sound like super impressive. But that's pretty good in Italy. That's a pretty good return rate in Italy. Now, I think he ticks all the boxes. He is a creator. He has a physical presence. He's got great ball striking, dribbling, and he takes on defenders. And Zerki's athletic ability doesn't just extend, extend to being like fast acceleration, but the jumping and the range of movement of him is really, really impressive. As his, the bread and butter of being a striker, which is his finishing, um, uh, and he's shooting uh, and he's not just composed but he's got some 
footballer in his striker as well. And uh, he, he can play off his left. I would argue he's not quite as strong on his left, um, but he, he can hit them and they stay hit, man. Um, he seems to have quite a lot of creative responsibility and there aren't really any other elite creators around him uh, and there's certainly not many goal scorers around him either. So some games he really doesn't get uh, anywhere near as much shots off because he he's also got the responsibility of trying to create but also the one that needs to be finishing at the same time as well but I think his link up plays really good and I think his hold up plays really good as well he's also got real good understanding of space that's around him and I think he anticipates what's going to happen real well so when you get involved in some give and go up back and through forward movement I think he looks really good and I think if you put someone uh like him in there with the likes of Garnacho and Bruno or Ahmad or, or some of the players that United have got around him, I think it would elevate him, but I think it would really suit what we were trying to do with the ball. And so I put him on the shortlist. Right then, last one. Big lad as well. 6'3.5", <laughs> Um, And this is Samuel Omoridion. So he is um, Spanish-Nigerian. He is at Deportivo Alaves at the moment, on loan from Atletico Madrid. Uh, Again, a right footer. Again, a big unit. Uh, Again, a centre forward. And he's been mega this season. Debut season. Uh, Raw 19-year-old. He's playing in a struggling side, but the pace on him is frightening. Uh, And he's also got some real intelligent movement that I think is equally impressive. The timing of the runs just is... Speed and power is one thing, but precision and and timing beats everything. And he's kind of got a little bit of a both. Um, And I think rather than having him in the shadow of Morata and Griezmann and co, Atletico's decision to let him go out on a season-long loan has really worked for them. Now, they'll be eyeing him up to come back and play back up to them players. So United have got a real job on their hands convincing him to come and play back up to Hoyland. But maybe they can give him the carrot of, look, you'll probably have half a chance of getting in front of him if you play well. Um, and he's only one rather than two. Although, you know, they do often play with a two. Work right wise absolutely second to none. Um, but also very competent in his build-up as well. And he can drop in between the lines, get involved. Uh, He's absolutely brutal on a counter attack, aerially very strong. Um, And as we've sort of touched on, he is a centre forward that has been blessed with real physical attributes, which do make him that sort of perfect target man and a box presence, but also a big danger in transition. The work rate is going to make him a manager's dream. If you want someone, Joe, when you're making a substitution, this is often the job of the backup striker, making a substitution, it ain't work for Hoyland today. We're going to throw the big lad on and see what he can create. Having that Tevez level sort of dog in you, where you will, there is no such thing as a 50 50 ball. That's my ball. And you're just on the other side of it. That mentality, that dog sometimes is. It can change the game. When you can change the tempo by lifting it, it really impacts. And I see that in him. I see that dog in him. And he can come on and do that. And once he goes at full speed, oh, my God, you're not stopping him. He's like a freight train. Um, and I, I think you know, there's weaknesses in all of these. And, and in him, it's, it's the link-up play. It, it, he's not necessarily lacking in that area, but it's, it's rawer than the other sort of areas. And I think he's still all right. He can combine with his teammates. Loves the quick one-two. Sometimes it misses. Um, but he loves the one-two and the spinning in behind. Um, and, they, you know, very much in the ilk of physical freaks like Hoyland and Harland, and he has the potential to become equally unstoppable. Maybe we are starting to see a return to the traditional sort of battering ram centre forward, um, while you have the creators kind of operating and playing in behind. But the battering ram centre forward no longer is your Duncan Ferguson sort of just win everything in the air type. They're able to play as well. So um, that's the three that I think United probably need to be looking at. They're not going to cost a lot, which means that they also come with a lower expectation. Um, But can they help rather than hinder what we're trying to do? Let me know your thoughts on either of those three in the comments below. Would you tech any of them? Um, And I'll see you in the next one. Laters. Hey, thank you for watching the video. If you are new around these parts, then don't forget to subscribe. My channel is proudly supported by my community on Patreon. If you'd like to get a little bit of extra content, a Discord group, meetups, five-a-side games, weekly podcasts, behind the scenes, and even an occasional bit of transfer news, as and when I get it, 
then for the price of a pint, you can show your appreciation for the content that we make and get some goodies for doing so as well. Check the link in the description or click the button right here. You'll also find all of my socials here too if you want to follow me on any of those platforms. Nice one.